Ciao mondo, hello world, hola mundo, hello mon. We're here today in Pittsburgh at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center with Hernando Gomez, a faculty member of the Critical Care Division. And uh, we are discussing about sepsis and AKI. And in particular is recent paper published in Shock where he mentioned the so-called damps and pamps. Hernando. Would you like to comment on this and explain in a few minutes what they are, these molecules? Sure, absolutely, Claudio. Uh, it's great to be here with you, uh, having excellent cappuccino. So uh, we, we considered that uh, sepsis-induced AKI might not be explained entirely by the fact that renal blood flow has been decreased. And we explored other possibilities in terms of the pathophysiologic mechanisms, and we conceived that perhaps the interaction between inflammation, microvascular dysfunction, and the tubular epithel epithelial cell response to that inflammation is key in the development of, of the pathophysiologic, pathophysiologic changes we see. Um, we believe that energy regulation within the epithelial cell is important in promoting a phenotype that will develop the clinical AKI, AKI signs that we see. So what are these damps? So those damps are essentially uh, inflammatory mediators that the kidney is able to filter and actually sends through the epithelial cells that express receptors like TLR4 and actually induce metabolic changes that will actually change the course of kidney function in the acute setting, but most importantly, in the chronic phase where patients might actually develop chronic kidney disease from this acute insult. Okay, so these damage-associated uh, uh, molecules and pathogen-associated molecules seems to be the key for a wider response of the kidney to the mechanisms of sepsis. And at the end, there should be a kind of hibernation of the cells in one side, hyperinflammatory response. Uh, there is, uh, in part, uh, immunodepression. It's a very complicated response that, however, today is studied not only for the acute phase of sepsis, but also for the important implications that they may have in the long term, because this patient uh, may survive sepsis and end up in chronic kidney disease. I think this agree. is, uh, this is uh, an important summary, and Hernando, John Kellen, and myself are planning actually to write all together in a nice editorial that you will see in a few months. But for the moment, please read the paper of Hernando Gomez in shock. I think it's a major achievement in understanding of what happened in sepsis-induced AKI. With this, I thank you very much for joining today Cappuccino, and I invite you to drink Cappuccino together. Excellent. 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 Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day.